Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I thank you for uh, joining me. This is morning prayer for Thursday, April 12th. It's the second week in Easter and week one in our psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 18, verse 1 to 19, and John 15, verse 12 to 27. And now join me in singing verse 2 of the second part of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. My lips and cheerful heart prepare to make your mercies known. Come all that fear my God and hear the wonders God has done. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, I love you, my God, and my strength. You are my rock and my fortress, and my deliverer. Hallelujah, Psalm 18, and please recite it with me. Hallelujah, I love you, my God, and my strength. You are my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. You are my God and my strength, in whom I trust my shield, my salvation, and my high tower. I call upon you, worthy to be praised, and I shall be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death surround me, and the floods of the ungodly made me afraid. The sorrows of hell plotted against me. The snares of death were set for me. In my distress I called to you. You heard my voice out of your temple, and my cry came before you to your ears. And then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations of the hills moved because you were angry. Smoke came out of your nostrils and fire out of your mouth, and coals were kindled by it. You lowered the heavens and came down, and darkness was under your feet. You rode upon a cherub. You flew upon the wings of the wind. You wrapped yourself in darkness, Dark waters and thick clouds, your pavilion. From your brightness burst forth hail, and coals of fire through the thick clouds. You thundered in the heavens, and uttered your voice, hail and coals of fire. You sent your arrows and scattered them, and you shot your lightnings and routed them. Then the river and the sea beds were seen, and the foundations of the world were uncovered. At your rebuke, O Most High, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. You reached down from above and took me. You drew me out of great waters. You delivered me from my enemy and from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They attacked me in the day of my calamity, but you were my support. And you brought me forth into a large place, and you delivered me because you loved me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I love you, my God and my strength. You are my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 15, beginning at verse 12. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I do not call you servants any longer because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my father. You did not choose me, but I chose you, and I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I'm giving you these commands so that you may love one another. If the world hates you, be aware that it hated me before it hated you. If you belonged to the world, the world would love you as its own. Because you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. 
therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, servants are not greater than their master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But they will do all these things to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned. But now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works that no one else did, they would not have sinned. But now they have seen and hated both me and my father. It was to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. When the Advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who comes from the Father, he will testify on my behalf. You also are to testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. Here ends the lesson. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Feed us and lift us up forever. We sing of your power and mercy in the morning. You are our refuge in times of trouble. And for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Dear God, Most High, hear our cry in times of distress. Deliver us from our enemies, for we cannot prevail without your help. For you are our God, our fortress, our rock, our strength, and our salvation. And we exalt in you forever. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.